Good morning. I am Brandon Scott, the mayor of Baltimore City, and I'm so uh, proud to be here and to serve as the mayor of Baltimore uh, because, more importantly, I'm an athlete. Uh, I grew up in here in Baltimore in Park Heights, a neighborhood that the world will descend on this weekend for Preakness, uh, but know that in my time growing up, every other day of the year, my neighborhood was ignored. But that is no longer the case. I have loved sports for as long as I can remember. I started running track at the Tawanda Rec Center at the age of six years old. I ran at the Mervo High School here in Baltimore City. I still play in adult sports leagues to let all the 20-somethings know that the mayor is still faster than them and they can't catch me, <laughs> which I will commence to do uh, next weekend. And I coached middle school basketball and flag football for elementary school students. And as a father, I am now passing uh, the love that I have for sports down to my sons. One son who now plays in the Under Armour Development League at the UA House, and my four-month-old baby Charm, who the only way to keep him from crying every night is to allow him to watch basketball every single night. <laughs> he is truly my son. Nothing uh, uh, makes him more quiet than to watch basketball. These days, he prefers to, to watch uh, his, what we call, Baltimore Auntie Angel Reese. Now she's playing for the Chicago Sky. Uh, yes. But I understand the true and transformative power of athletics in shaping young people into the leaders and to our communities, because that's what it did for me. Sports teaches us invaluable life lessons, lessons in teamwork, discipline, patience, perseverance, and I'm gonna say discipline again. These are values that extend far beyond the field of the court or the track, and values that I carry with me every single day. And also about competition, which I carry every place I go. Everything is a competition, everything. So it's no wonder uh, that I've made youth sports a priority as my time in public service. As a councilman, as you heard, I was proud to serve on the project play advisory board here uh, when the first state of play was published in 2017. And since becoming mayor in 2020, I've been proud to say that we've made records investments into Baltimore City Recreation and Parks, opening or renovating 11 new recreational centers here in the city of Baltimore. <laughs> expanding middle school athletics in our city school system so that we have more offerings than any urban school district in these United States of America. You'll hear a little bit about that later on with Flynn's panel. And we're not done yet. But when you combine that investment uh, with the incredible investment made by Under Armour through uh, Project Rampart, which is one of my favorite initiatives in the city, you can clearly see that Baltimore knows and believes that sports changes lives. And it's special to me because I know what it does for our student athletes. Because I wanna tell you a quick story. Imagine going to a high school with one of the best track and field programs in the country, multiple state championships, and at that time, one of our graduates was as an Olympian, but not having a track, not having uniforms that had your full school's name on it. That was my reality and the reality of so many young people in Baltimore. They were always the best athletes, but they didn't have the facilities or the equipment that they needed to show that each and every day. And Project Rampart is changing that by investing into our facilities and uniforms, but most importantly, into the athletes themselves. And the result speaks for themselves with those athletes graduating at 98% because through sports, they find pride in themselves and find themselves. Prime, or Deion Sanders as most people know, uh, said if you look good, you feel good, if you feel good, you play well, if you play well, they pay well. <laughs> I changed that last part a little bit. I like to change that last line and say, if you play well, you'll do well. But that's not just in sports, but in work, in school, in life in general. This work is important and we're only just beginning to scratch the surface. 
That's why I today am announcing my endorsement of Project Play's Children's Bill of Rights in sports. I believe that every child has the right to play sports, to safe and healthy environments, to qualified program leaders, to developmentally appropriate play, to share in the planning and delivery of their activities, to equal opportunity for personal growth, to be treated with dignity, and most importantly, to enjoy themselves. And I'm also excited to announce that I am creating the Charm City Sports Cabinet. This cabinet will bring partners together with city government to ensure that we are collectively, uh, as a city, working to promote play. And I'm committed to having young people represented in this cabinet to ensure that their voices remain central to the work that we commence every day. As you've heard repeatedly from Tom over the last two days for too long, athletics have been a program rich and systems poor. As mayor, we will work through this cabinet to make sure that we are building systems that match the incredible athletes that we produce here in Baltimore every single day. I'm proud of the progress that we've made, but even more proud of what progress we're going to make in the future. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for believing in the power of sports, and congratulations on a great summit, and I look forward to seeing us all expand the wonderful power of sports throughout the country. Thank you very much.